Summer festival season's not over yet. Irondequoit's inviting us to its first ever arts and music festival Saturday. Wendy Mills, RSVP, yes. We partnered with the House of Guitars and I Square. You know it's going to be a cool spirited day when you've got the hog behind you. The House of Guitars will be open at the time. Art instructor and art center owner Chris Blaine can't wait to see everyone here Saturday at and around the outdoor stage at I-Square for the first Irondequoit Arts and Music Festival. Trying to bring some sort of festival and it blossomed into this arts and music festival that we're really proud of. We have 30 plus uh, local artists and vendors. We also have seven bands. Co-event coordinator Craig Foster helped with the live music lineup. It's going to be good. We've got an eclectic mix of music. We've got a trio of classical guitar players. Uh, we have a jazz group. We have a band that's playing 80s music. We've got a solo, uh, a singer-songwriter, solo acoustic guitar player. Uh, we have a blues uh, guy who's actually bringing a, a full harp uh, to his uh, set. We also have a, a New Orleans-style brass band playing, and then our headliner, Ron Rocco. Ron's a, a legend, uh, a Rochester legend. He's uh, going to be headlining the show. It's a day for live music and a chance to get creative and see what local artists are up to. Chris and his wife, Caitlin, own the Art Center of Rochester, just two blocks from I-Square. Art means the world to them. So art for everyone. our motto and art definitely brings a community together and you know within communities or even neighboring communities there can be a sense of divide but we think art is a great way to break down those walls bring people from different schools different settings different neighborhoods together to enjoy music art they say art's the universal language and I totally agree <laughs> <laughs> see you Saturday in around Decoy Wendy Mills Spectrum News the Rondequoit's Arts and Music Festival, free and open to all.